Welcome back, all of you. Bloom, how are you, dear? Fine, Miss Farragonda. So, your mission was successful? We found them, sir. Brandon and his, uh, I mean, Prince Sky and the other specialists. Uh, yes, their arrival on Domino was timely. Hey, oh. look! Looks like Kiko's found a friend. <laughs> it's Pepe! Ice is stuck. How did he get here? I brought him with me. Nut. Hmm. It's all right, girls. The ogre is on our side. He fought courageously against the forces of evil. Goodness! You close your eyes for a second and look what happens. <laughs> what? Pepe and I managed to run away from Cloud Tower. They chased us, but we were too fast for them. Indeed. We don't even know what happened to Ms. Griffin. So I guess this means we're all in the same boat now. Mm, yes, but it remains to be seen whether we can keep afloat or not. Well, now at least we have a life raft. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's getting a little crowded here, don't you think? It's true then? Red Fountain Castle was destroyed? Yes, unfortunately. The boys will stay here for now. <laughs> as strong and courageous as these young men are, they can't possibly overpower Icy, Darcy, and Stormy by themselves. The whole magic dimension lies in ruin. Those three witches won't wait long before launching a new attack on Althea. We've got to be ready to fight them. That dribbling idiot. <laughs> hey, Stormy, what do you say we play with his head a bit, just for laughs? <laughs> hmm? What's going on? What, what are you trying to do? What do you want from me, huh? Come on, speak! What is it? What do you want? Huh? Come on! What are you waiting for? What? Who are you? You stay away from me! Go away! Go away! No! You're not me! That's not who I am! It can't be real. It's impossible. You don't exist. You can't. You are real. Huh? 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 All right, big boy. I have no way of defending myself against you, but I won't panic. I don't go down so easily, you know. There are many things I don't like about myself, but I'm far from being a monster, okay? I have a heart. And even though I can't be sure they'll ever be able to forgive me for all the things I've said and done, I have a few friends, too. Hey, kiddo! Huh? Miss Griffin, is that you? What are you doing here? Paying the price for my foolishness. I, too, have shown poor judgment. I should have realized sooner that their ambition was dangerous in scope. But it's not your fault. It would have been impossible to guess what they were planning. Hmm. I've got to try to get out of here. I've always been good at picking locks. This'll do. Hmm. Yes, sir. This'll do the trick, all right. The person hasn't been born yet who can keep me locked up. Don't worry, Miss Griffin. I'll get you out of here in a second. Don't waste your time, kid. Huh? Believe me, if it were as easy as that, my dark powers would have taken care of that lock long before now. It's an ancient runic lock. It's unbreakable. My girls are busy preparing a potion which will allow me to confuse the protection runes for a few seconds. And then... What's happening? The scrapers! Save yourself! But... Run! But you... You can do nothing for me! Run!
Where am I? Oh no! No! The window! It's my only chance! There's no other way! Is this where it ends? No! Huh? You'll never get me! Ah! Riven. What's the matter? Hmm? Nothing. I just got this strange feeling. Well, Bloom, we have seriously considered your proposal, and we... Accepted it, and that's why you didn't ask the other Winks to come to this meeting. You mean to say the others know nothing of this? I think it's best if Bloom fills them in. They'll take it better. Excuse me, but what are you talking about? We're discussing Bloom's plan for getting back the Dragon Flame. She hasn't told you anything? <laughs> you are going to accompany this girl to Cloud Tower. What? Only a total lunatic would consider going anywhere near Cloud Tower right now. Exactly. That's the very last thing the witches expect from us. I need to get right into the castle. We have no other choice. How are you going to do that? Easy. We can take the tunnels. Nut is very familiar with the old underground corridor system linking the three magic schools. He will be the one leading us on this mission. Oh, come on, you've lost all of your magic powers. You're putting your life at risk. But I have no choice, don't you understand? As long as the witches possess the power of the dragon flame, nothing can stop them. The flame is a part of me. I'm responsible for it. Blue. So, when do we get going? As soon as I've convinced Musa, Tecna, and Flora to stay here. Their powers are essential to the protection of Althea. The signs are unmistakable. Look, a final attack is imminent. No! Oh well, he chose his own fate. I would have liked to see him squirm a little longer. Yeah! Well, that's the end of that. Now it is time to seal the fate of Althea. Creatures of the Dark! It is time for you to rise! Oradoth Obscuro Tenebrarum. 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 Rise up from the deep! Emerge from the abyss! Go out into the world! I wish I could help you. Same here. We've already discussed it. You'll be more useful here. Same old story. You're stubborn as a mule. Oh, Flora Musa. <laughs> Bloom. Hey, I'm here too. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <sighs> no. Tecna, are those tears I see in your eyes? Um, no, a speck of dust got in my eye. Excuse me, girls, but time's a wasting and Nuts found the right path. Well, let's go. Uh, what is it you say on Earth? Break a leg? And please come back safe and sound. Bend it. At last, here you are. 
We sure need your help. Which way do we go to get to Cloud Tower? I'm not sure. Things are different down here. It's those witches' fault. So, you're not a prince? No, unfortunately. I'm Brandon, Sky's page. So Sky tricked Bloom and you tricked me, is that uh, right? And I suppose it changes everything? Maybe, maybe not. First, let's take care of business, then we can talk about us. What is it, Nut? Did you find something? I don't know. It's just that I feel like we're not alone down here. Relax, Bloom. Stay close to me and nothing will happen to you. I envy you, Stella. You can still defend yourself while I... I've no idea what I'll do when I find myself in front of the witches. Excellent! Everything is going according to plan! What are you talking about? Our troops are falling back. I know they are. I want this war to last a long time. I want Althea to suffer a slow, humiliating defeat. The creatures of the dark are numerous and will never give up the fight. So ultimately, they will bring down Althea. <laughs> hmm. Huh? Uh, there are three tunnels. Which one do we take? Um, I don't know. What? In the last half hour alone, you've nearly led us into 14 death traps. Stella, Nut is doing his best. Now think. You have a great sense of smell, don't you? It's this one. Are you sure? If I say it's this one, this one it is. is full of smells. Hang on a second, I know that stink. Hey guys, hmm? we've reached Cloud Tower. 
This isn't what I had in mind. I think this is the castle's garbage dump. Ugh, what a stench, Yucko! We've got to find a way out of here and back into the castle itself. Yeah, but first, let's give Nut a hand. Come on. Mm. What was that? I don't know, and I don't want to know. <laughs> oh, oh, beetle roaches. What are huh? these things? Giant garbage eating bugs. Ew, disgusting. Man, there's like an army of them. Well, what are we waiting for? It's extermination time. No, wait! Huh? If we attack them, we run the risk of blowing our cover! True. We get rid of one of them, and the witches will sense it, and that means we can kiss our surprise attack goodbye. Right. We'll stand here and call them names till they go away. Ah, uh, did anyone bring a can of bug spray? <laughs> For a fairy with no powers, you sure pack a punch. Thanks. Look out! What you waiting for? Throw it! No, it's moving too much. I'm afraid I'll hit Prince Sky. Yeah! Uh -huh. Oh! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your numbers! Oh. Guys, look! They're all going away! That's right. The one I zapped was the leader. Hey, um, who are you anyway? What? You don't recognize your old friend anymore? Ribbon! <laughs> I still can't believe it! You managed single-handedly to escape from the dungeons of Cloud Tower! To tell the truth, I didn't get to go very far. Up there, past the dump, the witches have set up a protective shield. If I had gone one step further, they would have captured me. But how did you manage to escape? As I jumped out of the high tower window, I was absolutely sure it was all over for me. But then, a buttress broke my fall and I slid all the way down into the dump. I had to pull myself together. The place was teeming with beetle roaches. I lay low and looked for camouflage and, most importantly, a weapon. The rest of my stay here hasn't been particularly exciting. You kidding? You had to put into practice everything we learned at Red Fountain. Survival in a zone totally infested with creatures of the dark. Hey, do you remember Kota Tora's lesson? Never hide downwind and keep your fingers out of your nose. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sky, Brandon, I wanted to apologize for all the things I've done. Don't worry about it, buddy. We'll talk about that later, okay? Right, we're on a mission here, let's not forget. So, are you with us? You bet. All right then, let's get a move on. Nut has found the tunnel that leads right into the castle. Unfortunately, this doesn't mean we're out of the woods yet, but something tells me our little visit here won't be a walk in the park. wanted us to see a good example of bad decorating. From here we have access to the castle. The corridor is heavily guarded. Getting out of this room is not a problem. <laughs> I've learned to move about the castle without being noticed. First, we need to go down a couple of stories. The tunnel leading us down is through there. 
I don't know. Looks like a regular mirror to me. You've got a keen eye, Sky. You've got to trust me. I'm with you, not the witches. Come on. We've no time to waste. Hey, ladies first, Brandon. And children next, right, Riven? Let us go first. It could be dangerous in there. I'm right behind you. They try something. Sisters, we have guests. Bloom is prowling about our secret corridors, and she's not alone. Urgh. How did she get here? Nut is with her. Ah, oh, that traitor! Oh, relax, Darcy. This is the first good thing he's ever done for us. We have the dragon's power. Nothing can stop us. They're just pesky little gnats. So, we'll swat them! <laughs> school year. Instead, we're involved in a major crisis, and we've got to save Althea and the Magic Dimension. Look at it this way. This experience is teaching us so much more than school book stuff. We're part of historic events. We've had to come up with spells that can never be reproduced, Musa. We get to fight alongside the most powerful witches and fairies in the dimension. You find all that thrilling, don't you? Well, I don't like it at all. This whole thing scares me. I'd rather be safe at home with my parents. I know what you mean. I'm upset too. I can't stand the thought of being a prisoner here in the middle of nowhere, far away from everyone I know. How I wish all this was just a bad dream. Oh. Well, it's true. These are difficult times, but we must resist and trust that we will win in the end. Flora's right. We're like a big orchestra, and each one of us has an important part to play. Even Kiko and Pepe are ready for action. See how ready they look? Each one of us is absolutely essential if we're going to save magics. Just think of what Bloom and Stella are going through right now. They're at the heart of enemy territory, and Bloom doesn't have any powers. Even so, I'm sure they'll be all right. Muse is right. We can't allow this to go on. That's the spirit. I say we teach those witches a lesson they won't soon forget. Yeah, they think they can just wipe out all the good in the world and set up a realm of evil. But they are so wrong. Yeah, yeah you come said on. it. All they right. are so wrong. We, we can, can get do this. this. Come on, girls. You can do it. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's my pager. Huh? Mm hmm? It's from Timmy? Uh, yes. Timmy and I are, um, we're analyzing some data. We're developing a new early warning system. You know, to spot attackers. Later! I've never seen her so, so, so normal. Me either. Let's compare the data, and then we'll see if our hypothesis makes sense. If all the numbers are correct, only subspatial interference could delay the wave energy transmission. But the percentages are so low that... Are you listening to me, Tecna? Yes, of course, Timmy. 
You were talking about, um, low transmission rates, right? Uh, yeah. All right then, um, could you check the uh, stability levels of the energy barrier for me, please? Timmy... <clears throat> if only I could put logic aside for a while and let myself be swayed by emotion. After all, it can't be that bad. Walking for hours in these secret corridors, and yet it feels like we're getting absolutely nowhere. Everything looks exactly the same. Don't worry, we're almost there. Only a few small steps separate us from the Dragon Flame. See, over there is where they hide all their secrets. Are you trying to make me homesick? I feel something is not quite right down here. No guards, no traps. Why are the tricks so sure of themselves? All right, time to let out the prisoners. Yeah, but you be careful, okay? Back soon. I'll join you guys in a minute. This is it, Bloom. You'll soon be the most powerful fairy in the magic dimension once again. My dragon flame. It can be mine again. I I feel its heat. Ah! Uh, uh. Huh? What's going on? Surprise! Hmm? That's not your flame, Bloom. Your flame's out of your reach, deep in our entity. And you can never get it back. <laughs> you lose, fairy. See? We're stronger than you now, but you'll never be able to tell anyone. <laughs> oh. And do you know why you will never tell? Because Cloud Tower will be your grave. Hmm. <laughs> huh? Take that as a warning. deserve the worst kind of punishment for what you've done. Oh. Hmm. Come on, Bloom. Let's go. So, you managed to escape, Miss Griffin. I just wanted to let you know that I'm still on my feet. We'll see you later, little missies. The final showdown will have to wait, I'm afraid. Ah! <gasps> what do you think you're doing? Ah! Oh. won't hold them back for long.
go up to Windswept Terrace. It's the only way out of the castle. Take this cloak, Miss Griffin. All right, let's go. My dear, there's nothing we can do against Icy, Darcy, and Stormy. <sighs> but, Miss Griffin, if you leave them here, they could destroy Cloud Tower. I'm well aware of that, Stella. Miss Ferragonda had warned me against them, but I wasn't about to let myself be awed by three silly young students. That was a big mistake. The fact that Saladin, Farragonda, and I managed to overpower their three ancestors way back when doesn't mean we're invincible. The truth is, we must always keep our eyes wide open. The world of magic can never be taken for granted. No! <laughs> Ms. Griffin took us by surprise! We're stuck. It won't be easy to get out of here. What? You think a little granite is gonna stop us? We've gotta catch them before they make their getaway. Move aside, sisters. It barely made a dent. At this rate, it'll take us forever. What are you waiting for? Help me out. We'll let the Creatures of the Dark deal with Bloom and her friends. a dimensional portal to Althea. Everybody gather round and try to stay as close as possible to one another. Quickly! The creatures of the dark are coming! Hurry up! Enter the portal! Miss Griffin! We could throw them off the scent by creating some kind of distraction. If only I had my Wind Rider! Uh, isn't this better? A Space Spider 4000! Whoa! I'm willing to take risks if it's to help my friends, and no one is going to stand in my way. All right, then I'm going with you. <laughs> Good luck! I'll be thinking of you, Bloom!
shouldn't be too far from Althea now, Bloom. Hmm. Whoa! There's something in our way! A sudden acceleration might make them lose their grip. Hang on tight, Bloom. Are you all right? Uh huh. <sighs> no, it's useless. The space spider is a wreck. So, what do we do now? As things stand, we don't have much of a choice. We've got to head back towards magics and hope to find some help. I don't know. Hmm. Well, at least we got rid of those creatures. We might have won this battle, but I'm afraid the next attack will be much more violent. And we still haven't heard anything from the kids at Cloud Tower. I can't believe this is happening. What will become of magics? Now is not the time to ask these kinds of questions. Let's focus on the task at hand. We must find a way to respond more quickly and efficiently to their assaults. We can't lose this war. It would be tragic. Miss Farragonda! Miss Farragonda, we've detected a temporal distortion! Over there! Right next to the well! Oh, thank goodness the kids are back! And Griffin and her students are with them! This is very good news! Welcome to Althea, Griffin. I see that your students have followed you. Yes, but it is thanks to your students that we were able to escape from the clutches of those three power-crazed witches. Well, you're here now. You can fill me in on the details later. Meanwhile, we'll do all we can to help. Seems to me that you're also in need of help. Yes, and it seems to me that I've just found the person who can help us. Look, everyone, they're back! <laughs> Hey, Brandon. Good to see you. Hmm. Where's Bloom? What happened to her? We don't know what happened to her or Sky. The last time we saw them was at Cloud Tower. They were trying to hold the monsters at bay so we could all get away. Are you sure this is the shortest way to magics? It's the safest. The Black Mud Swamp will provide good cover. I wonder what we'll find in magics. One thing at a time, Bloom. Let's think about getting there first. Sky, I'm scared. I can't go on. Without powers, I feel like a burden. But you've lived most of your life not knowing you had special powers, Bloom. And that's exactly why. You know, I used to think that the people I grew up with were my real parents. Then I find out it's not true. So I begin a new life, then suddenly my powers are snatched away from me. You are who you are, Bloom, with or without magic powers. What should I do now? You get up and come with me to magics. I'm sure we'll find someone there who'll give us a hand.
Guy, did you hear that? What? I don't know. I thought I heard somebody. No, I didn't hear anything. It must have been an animal of some sort. Come on, let's go. Those weaklings have managed to slip out of the monster's grasp and seek refuge among the fairies at Althea Castle. Ha! Huh, looks like Bloom isn't with them. Why should you care about Bloom, Darcy? It's not as if she can hurt us now. <laughs> I think the time has come to really focus on the conquest of Althea. We'll rally the most powerful army ever. Althea will shake under its might. <laughs> Griffin, we all know that the power these girls possess doesn't correspond in any way to what you've been teaching at Cloud Tower. What worries me now is what's become of Bloom. And of Prince Sky. He is by far my best student, and the fact that he's disappeared without a trace makes me fear the worst. However, we mustn't forget that Bloom possesses extraordinary powers. Yes, but they've been stolen from her. We all know what came of that, and yet I don't think I see Darcy and Stormy are satisfied. I'm afraid their next move will be absolutely ferocious. Going. Bloom, you need to sleep. I'm sure you'll feel better tomorrow morning. We've got a big day ahead of us. You think we're safe here? I mean, the monsters could easily get us. The witches have got the dragon flame, Bloom. That's all they ever really wanted. I don't think they care much about you now. Right. I'm not worth much. There's nothing wrong with not having magic powers. The tricks... they'll stop at nothing. Let's sleep a little. Tomorrow, we'll go to Magix and we'll find out what's going on in Althea. Keep in mind that the Tricks will now have to contend with Faragonda and Griffin together. Hmm. Sky? Oh, uh, yeah? Nothing. Heavens! The power of those three witches is greater than I thought! This army of worms is indestructible! Magic or no magic? Let's see what he'll do against this! Brandon, we got him. 
not so sure. Beast, let's see what you can do. Are you all right, Professor? Yeah, I'm all right, but my pride isn't. Ha! Huh? That's it. I've had it. These flying stingrays are making me dizzy. Wake up! Time to go! What time is it? I guess I just crashed out last night. Don't worry about it. You are exhausted. Now we both feel better, so let's get walking. Blue! Sky! Blue. <laughs> Surely you must have heard that! You heard what? A voice calling me! Oh! It's been almost an hour since their last assault. I hate to say this, but I have a strong feeling that they're playing with us right now. With each attack, they get stronger and more numerous. The only way out of this mess is to eliminate the root cause of it all. In other words, confront the tricks directly. It doesn't bode well for my boys. No, I didn't know. Of course you did. Do you think we'll be able to resist the next attack? I really can't say. The harder we fight, the stronger they get. I'm scared. Don't be, Stella. I'm here with you. But that's exactly what I'm afraid of, my darling prince. Mm -mm. Stella, I want to ask you to forgive me for... For making me believe you were a prince when, in fact, you're just a simple page. Yeah. Don't worry about it, Brandon. I don't care if you're a prince or not. My parents are the king and queen of Solaria. It hasn't done them much good, has it? Hey, lovebirds! What are you doing? Seems we can't leave you alone for a second. Oh, leave them alone. They're so cute together. Don't you two have something better to do? Ah! Uh, oh! Hey! Are you crazy? I could have gotten hurt! Ha! <laughs> you were three feet off the ground! Please, be nice to my friends. I'm the only one allowed to torment them. Oh, how I wish I knew where Bloom was. Hmm. She's with Sky. She's safe. You'll see. I'm sure they managed to escape from Cloud Tower. There they are. Timmy, Riven, what's up? Faragonda wants to talk to us. Huh? huh? Any minute now, we'll have to face another attack. The only way we'll be able to resist this time is by combining our powers. Keep in mind that the tricks are driven by hatred. They have no idea what the power of unity can achieve. I can't 
can't believe my eyes! There are thousands of them! Good heavens, look! <sighs> They're headed for Althea! <sighs> oh. We've got to get to Magic's end fast! I can't go to Magic's. First, I've got to go to Lake Rocaluche. What are you talking about, Bloom? I've got to do it. Something to do with Daphne and me, my birth parents, my past, and my powers. Well, then I'm coming with you. No, Brandon, I must go alone. You go on to Magic's. As you wish. But if I don't see you in two hours, I'm going to come look for you. Right, that's enough. I've had it. I'm tired of watching and not doing anything. Sisters, nothing can stop us now. What are we waiting for? Let's use the power of the dragon flame. If this is what it takes to crush Althea, so be it. And now it's time to take command of our army. I want to see with my own eyes the extermination of those cutesy little fairies. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for me, Daphne? 
me. <laughs>